on the Niagara frontier today where very little actual work was being done because everyone was partying in anticipation of the bills corralling the cowboys on Sunday. Reporter Gene Hill covered some of the upscale tailgate parties. There's just something about a well-dressed man or woman that won't be denied. And Buffalo Bill's fashion statements were being made all across western New York during the lunch hour today. A tailgate party at Eastman Machine Company was aimed at proving that California does not have a patent on Super Bowl celebrations. We're a very hardworking company. We're behind the number one team, a very hardworking team, and we're going to root them all the way to victory. Well, anything they didn't get around to doing got done over at City Hall. Twelfth floor employees took the idea of a lunch party to new heights today. Well, we're having a, a game here. We're getting ready. The 12th, the 12th floor against the 11th floor in City Hall. They got me playing quarterback a little out of position. <laughs> Again, I'm not running for office either. When Bacone finished bragging to a California radio station, it was down to business with the competition. The 12th floor decorators went all the way. The 12th floor of City Hall has simply become a football field for today, complete with yard markers and, well, everything. But the 11th floor made a comeback in the second half. These attorneys knew they were in trouble. So without mercy, they unveiled the unexpected float. And while they were floating away in competitive bliss, a contingent of Buffalo Bills fans was flying away to the big show. We're flying out to San Francisco the evening to check out the Jerry Garcia band and uh, getting a Cadillac tomorrow morning and driving down to L.A. to uh, go see the Bills kick some butt. Signs of support are popping up everywhere. And the real party has just begun. Gene Hill, Eyewitness News. Needless to say, Bill's country covers an awful lot of territory in these parts and elsewhere, and our cameras captured some kids today literally singing the praises of the Bills. These youngsters at Fredonia Elementary School in Chautauqua County were in fine voice singing the sentiment shared by hundreds of thousands of Buffalo Bills fans. Now let's span the continent and go out to Keith Radford in Los Angeles where Bills fever is now spread to the West Coast. Keith? Sounds like people are excited back there in Western New York, Irv. Oh yeah. Well I'll tell you, the official Super Bowl party is underway. We're into Friday now, the countdown uh, has begun in earnest, the big game coming up on, uh, on Sunday. We're in downtown Los Angeles, again at the Bills Headquarter Hotel, the Hyatt. In the mall here, they've got a band that's been playing, they just stopped a few minutes ago, all kinds of things that you can see and do. Have your picture taken with some of the L.A. Raiderette cheerleaders, of course, I'm not interested in that. But uh, all kinds of things going on in here, I'll tell you, things are going to be hopping tonight in L.A. Normally on a Friday afternoon, there's no way I could be standing right here in the middle of the street in downtown Los Angeles, but this is no ordinary Friday. There's a huge Super Bowl pep rally planned to start a short time from now. They're setting up stages for musical acts. They're going to have uh, food booths, everything you could imagine to kick off this Super Bowl weekend. And here at the Bills Headquarters Hotel downtown, fans are pouring in for the weekend. Now, tell me, uh, you wouldn't be a Bills fan by any chance? Um... I don't know. Can you tell? <laughs> uh, we're just going to the Super Bowl, hanging out with some friends, trying to get tickets for my pal here. That's about it. I see. Are you going to shave while you're out here? No. I'm on vacation. No way. Oh, I know we're going to do it. Like I said, third time's a charm. What do you think about the game? I think Buffalo by at least 14. At least 14. I haven't been wrong yet this year. You came from Kansas. Well, wait a minute. Kansas, Steve, Buffalo Bills. Steve Tasker. Oh, Steve Tasker. Well, do you know him? Well, he's my son. You're kidding. <laughs> Our son. Mrs. Tasker, it's right. so nice to see you. Where are you going to sit at the game, do you know? don't know for sure. I think 35, 40-yard line. Is that good? Oh, that is great. Yeah. Yeah, he was telling me, you know, that you will be getting the bill for the tickets that he had is to that buy. that right? Yeah. You yeah. know how tight he is with a bus. I know he's pretty tight, yeah. yeah. All righty, thanks very much. 
Anyway, the big Super Bowl party officially to get underway here in about an hour. They're going to have this big pep rally outside. We're going to cover that for you. Uh, that starts at 4 o'clock California time. We'll have that for you tonight on Eyewitness News at 11 o'clock. And Irv, just for you, we went out to Pasadena and we brought in the actual goalposts from the Rose Bowl. What do you think? I think that's great. And listen, Keith, behave yeah. yourself at the party tonight, please. Well, I'll certainly try to. Everyone's asking for you out here again. Uh, you know, the Bills every year, they want your tips, you know, to see, make sure they play a good game, Irv. Well, I, I've got one tip, Keith. The What's Bills that? are going to win. No question yeah, about it. I think so. I talked to a lot of people out here. They figure this is at this time. Much different out here in California. They're much subdued. No problems with the media. No problems with the newspaper people. I think they're going to do it this time. Let's hope so, huh? Yeah, well, with the L.A. Raiders not involved, you know, they're not too excited about it. Yeah. Okay. If you run into any Hollywood stars, say hello for me, will you, Keith? Hey, Jack. Jack Nicholson over here. Jack, come on. Oh, he's too busy right now. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, folks. Now, all of the sports mavens have now made their choices about who's going to emerge victorious from Sunday's Clash of the Titans. So, we decided to turn to some folks who say they have the power of precognition. Psychics. We sent I-team reporter Tony Farina out on perhaps his toughest assignment. We said, Tony, get out to the psychic fair at the Hearthstone Manor in Cheektowaga. Use tea leaves, cards, crystal balls, whatever you have to do, but do not come back until you've got a solid psychic prediction. We, of course, were deadly serious about this assignment. Candles, crystal balls, and everything. Do the psychics foresee a Bill's victory on Sunday? In other words, is it in the cards? We, uh, as you pick a card here, it'll tell me what your feelings are about the whole thing and what whether my or not what are? spirit's telling you about the uh, Okay, I'm going to pick Bills a card here. here. Okay, let's see. And we'll see what my feelings are. Okay, they're going to be very successful. This is a card of strength. Right. Uh, they're overcoming the lion. She's closing the lion's mouth here, and so she has control over the lion. And the kickoff time will be 6.18. Eastern Time. So we program that in, and this will give us the alignment of the planets at the specific time that the kickoff is made. Um, okay, now they're playing in Pasadena, so I need the latitude and longitude for Pasadena. You gotta have all that stuff in there, huh, as John Madden would say? Yeah, all that, uh, yeah, all that stuff. It'll, it'll help us to understand a little bit more about what will be going on in California. Of course, you're not biased at all. Not at all. Well, you put a lot of stuff in, and a lot of stuff is coming out. Oh, yeah. And it was good stuff. The rising sign of a cancer, I think that that could be it good for well. You, yeah, it, um, it could be worse. But enough about the bills for a minute. I would say that you're a very prosperous man and that you're able to get exactly what you want and you know how to get it. I'd say by looking at your aura that uh, mm. you can bring into well, oh, manifestation. Back to the bills. I honestly don't see them going anywhere, okay? And don't tell me what do I see in the crystal ball. Well, no, Barbara, I, I don't see anything in there. Well, you're not looking hard enough. Well, you have to feel, not just look. That way? Mm, with your heart. Oh, with my heart. We know we're not going to predict a win or a loss. It would take the fun out of the game for everybody. Oh, that's right, yeah. We... But I'll tell you this, I think those bills are blessed. You better not tell anybody who's coming for a reading here because they'll probably go right by you. Yeah, that's true, uh, but I, I, I you got to be say, honest. Yeah. Okay. And that's what you feel. Really? Well, I, I hope you're wrong, Paula. I think they come from special place, and they've got a very special energy going into this game. But enough about the bill. Because I feel that you have a lot of natural gifts. This is Tony Farina reporting. Go ahead. Don't pay attention to that camera. What else do you see in my eyes? Go ahead. Uh, Tony hasn't returned yet. It must be all that candlelight and romantic flowers. Uh, this rather intriguing wager over the Super Bowl, the Buffalo Bills colors, of course, are red, white, and blue. So Planned Parenthood of Buffalo has made a wager with its Dallas counterpart. If the Bills lose, we'll send you a thousand red, white, and blue condoms. If Dallas goes down to defeat, 1,000 silver and blue birth control devices will be coming to Planned Parenthood of Buffalo. We'll be back with the rest of today's news after we check out one of the many Bills rallies across western New York.